That was a good workout. What the heck? This broke off. Well, it's time to replace these dumbbell handles. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a new year, so I'm sure we have New Year's resolutions and goals in mind. One of mine is being to work out regularly at my home gym. Today we're going to take a look at the Yes For All dumbbell handles. Um, I believe these are a hot item right now. I bought these uh, back in January for right around $30. Wow, you guys are not going to believe it. I actually purchased this pair of dumbbell bars back in January 18th of this year, not too long ago. For $29.99, looks like the price increased, probably because due to this demand, to $48.50. But you can buy the cheaper one, the chrome one, for right around $30. I chose the one inch one because those are the weights that I have. It comes uh, in this package like this. I decided to go with the red color because it's sexy. All right, let's take these out of the box. Seems like a pretty heavy box. All right, I'm digging the color. Digging the color. All right, straight out of the box. So these measure 14 inches long. It's made of solid stainless steel. Uh, there are some rubber uh, collars right here to protect it against um, you know, the weights and also to prevent it from a slippage. By the way, each of these weigh about two pounds with the collars and the collars also made a similar stainless steel these are color painted on right so on the collar you have these rubber padding to protect the weight from uh, moving shifting too much and from clanging too much keep in mind the colors are spray painted on black and red all right that's what it looks like very solid feel and let's look at one of the handles um, your typical uh, dumbbell bars see the color wearing off a little bit right there so I imagine with time it might wear it off but I'm definitely digging a stainless steel uh, look because and the weight it's got a solid weight to it got these nice diamond grooves um, to prevent it from slippage because the ones that I own with the uh, rubber right here it, it just won't hold man it's not gonna last long so very simple right there and by the way, these hold uh, weights that's one inch in diameter with the opening. There are variations, 1.15 inch and one inch. Make sure you get the right ones. All right, welcome to my home gym. So these are the cap rubber barbells. Actually, it's just the rubber handle right here. I think this is all solid steel. Um, that I purchased back in October 2020 for $17.80. That they did not last long. As you can see right here, because of... Uh, the impact for dropping the weights and whatnot, um, the rubber just is gonna tear away. It's not gonna last long, all right? So can't use those anymore. I highly suggest you guys just go ahead and decide to spend it on an all steel finished one like this one. It's gonna last a long time. All right, so here are the one inch weights that I was mentioning. You measure the, the diameter of the opening so it matches the pair of dumbbells that you get so let's go ahead and put the weights on here I'll just show you um, should be pretty simple see it was an easy like that put one on each side that's 50 pounds 5 pounds of weight right there and don't forget with the collar and the bar itself, you add four more pounds. So this is 59 pounds in total. Here we go, guys. 59 pounds. Let's see how many reps I can do. Oh, first off the bat, the handlebars. The bars seem a little bit narrower than what I'm used to. Wow. It feels sturdy, though. Pay attention when I drop the weight from here. See? No problem when dropping the weights. It's made of solid steel. 
what is this color wearing off? Oh my goodness. That is not cool at all. See the red color rubbing off? Already too. So what are my final thoughts? I like the steel construction and design. It's built to last. Don't waste your money and spend it on one of these guys because that rubber handle eventually with time is going to just break off. Anything I bet you use over 25 pounds, you drop it, eventually the impact is going to break all this rubber padding off. Then you have to buy yourself a new one. Don't waste your money on that, man. Buy yourself a full steel construction one just like this one. Uh, but the... The narrow grip takes a little bit getting used to. That's not a big problem, but I do appreciate diamond grooving on there. It provides a little bit of stability and grip. But the only downside is expect this color to wear off, get all over your clothes and stuff. And I don't know if they spray painting it with cheap paint or last second. That's not cool at all. So that's not going to get up five stars. And uh, I, I believe the maximum weight capacity they said is 200 pounds. I... I don't think I need anything that heavy. The heaviest I ever use on a dumbbell press is 100 pounds. And I don't think I'll be using that at all because I don't think I'm up to that strength on par again. But yeah, if you want to know, 100 pounds on this would be sufficient and fine. Overall, I think I'm going to hook this up with a four stars. Um, if they could just, you know, find a solution for this coloring then it would get a near five stars but this one i'm gonna drop it probably down to like uh two stars or so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the review as always eat hard work out harder stay safe out there and exercise regularly